I needed something that felt like I was stepping away from norms, I think. Um, it was a little bit of like a, like, a, like a fuck you to all that had come before. I finished one manuscript of a novel and then tried to find an agent for it and couldn't. I got a couple hundred pages into another. And this was like four, maybe five years of work for which I had seen absolutely no return except for like people telling me that, that my work was good. I started to get a little bit like enraged with it. Like what, what am I doing? Like what's going on here? I didn't write anything for three months. During that kind of break from that work. I think I reverted a little bit to things that I had done when I was younger that just gave me real basic joys, just making small stuff uh, like jewelry and tables and bookshelves and um, made my father some canoe paddles and I had a hatchet and these pieces of beech wood that I got my hands on and I was just like ding 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 and I made like a giant pile of chips in our living room. You now I turned my office into a, a little workshop. All my manuscripts were covered in dust. Everybody thought I was crazy. My parents were like, what are you doing? And my, my wife was like, you, you've, you've you know, lost your mind. Like, so I found this rusty chunk of steel in one of the equipment sheds on my folks' farm and uh, shaped it with like a bench grinder and made it into a knife-like object over a couple week period and found it so satisfying. Um, and it just really kind of resonated with me in a way that nothing had before that. I stuck with it, and it was a feeling that I kind of chased. I, I, I made one, and it, you know, it was fantastic. So I made another, and it kept feeling good, and then I got better. I think Brooklyn is a, is a fantastic place to, to, to come with an idea and like make that happen. There was this feeling that you could do that, man. You could just have a really good idea and work your ass off and make awesome stuff in, in Brooklyn especially. It took like, oh man, it was like a year and a half to two years to really come up with a kitchen knife that I felt really proud of that I could put out there and say, I'm happy with the idea of you giving me your hard earned money and me giving you this tool that will last your lifetime. Like you gotta get to that spot where you can feel good with that. Probably, I probably built like 40, 40 or 50 prototypes over that year and a half period, just trying new things out, trying some wacky shit, coming to understand the way a uh, uh, chef's knife is held and what it's like, how it's used. It was a New York Times piece that came out about the kind of the new food movement in Brooklyn, and I was included in that. And you know, my wait list went from six months to like three years, pretty much overnight. There's really nobody that's doing things kind of the way that I do it, where I don't take any, I don't take orders anymore. So I make stuff that I think is awesome, that I'm psyched about, and I hang it up on the wall, and people come in and buy it. Like I feel unbelievably lucky that I was able to find this one thing that fulfills me in so many different ways um, out of hundreds of thousands of things that I could have chosen to have done. I sort of found this one thing and it just, it just works for me, you know, it just like fits me. My name is Joel Buckowitz and I'm a knife maker here in Brooklyn, New York.